So basically, the other thing with this puppy is she doesn't like things near her, near her head and face. Um, and the bottom line is, is it's actually easy to counter condition. If one hand is offering a treat and the other hand's manipulating her around her head and face, she's going to start associating things like, oh, when the treat's forthcoming, I let people touch me and good things happen. Good girl. Very nice. Here, Les. Here. Sit. No. Good. So here's the treat. I could touch her everywhere, lift her lips, all that stuff. But the risk we run is when we offer food, she figures she doesn't have to work unless food's forthcoming. And that's not the way this works. No? Good. She has to do it whether food is present or not. Good girl. So with her in particular, nope. When we go to take her equipment off, she kind of falls apart a little bit. And I'll, I'm just manipulating the leash. You notice all of a sudden the head starts flinging around. And that's not appropriate behavior. Your dog should be relatively stationary when you manipulate the leash and collar. Good. So as long as we can bribe her, that's good. But eventually we are going to have to make the requirement without food being forthcoming. And this is a problem with the older dog, the older dog as well. Good girl. Mm. Yes. Very good. Very good. Nope. Yes. Very good. The requirement is look at me in the face. It's hard for her to see with that bush. But still. She gets what she wants when you get what you want. Now she's toggling between hands. Yes, very good. You're a smart little monkey. Good pups. Okay.